Welcome back to a very special episode of Reviews Blossom. in the Run. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Um, <laughs> and Blossom, we are talking about the best games to buy for your loved ones, or maybe just yourself. This is our buyer's guide. So we covered PC, yeah. we covered Xbox, yeah. we covered PS4. Yeah. And uh, what are we missing, Victor Lucas? We're missing the best for last, oh, maybe. That is a heavy statement, but there have been many games for the Wii U. Yeah, if you're a Mario fan, or a Yoshi fan, or a Smash Brothers fan, or we're still Mario in a, that one. A Zelda fan ish. Yep. Yeah. We're still waiting for the big Wii U Zelda experience. We are, but, but there is Hyrule one. Warriors. Yeah, which was surprisingly enjoyable. Ben and Jose both really dug that game. That's a it's, game, honestly, that you can play, but really you have to have an affinity for Dynasty Warriors yes, to do. enjoy it. Yeah. Because it's a lot of hacking and slashing. So if you notice somebody in your life that enjoys that kind of gameplay, definitely Hyrule Warriors is for you. What I liked about what those guys had to say about that game is that it was fan service and that they worked with a different developer to come up with something that was going to make people have fun and a slightly different experience on the platform. Yeah. And I feel the same thing about what they're doing with Platinum and Bayonetta. Not only can you get Bayonetta 2, you can also get the first Bayonetta as part of the new Wii U version right. of this franchise. It's strange on the Wii U. I'm it's happy that it's thing. on the Wii U, yes. but it's a very M-rated game yep. and everybody needs to know that if you're picking this up. This is not for the children at all. Ever since Mario Kart 8 came out, which is something that I think is going to be on every damn Wii U in existence. <laughs> And now they've got all the DLC, which was my big complaint. Remember when we reviewed it, I said we needed more tracks, we needed more characters, I heard you and, and all that stuff's coming. The said they're never getting more Yoshi love from yes, Mario Kart 2, which I'm excited about it because I love me some Yoshi. Some tides have been turning. I mean, it feels like a platform of sustenance. You can go back into the library a little bit and still pick up incredible games like Super Mario 3D World. Yeah. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD is incredible on the Wii U. So many awesome games, and it's a really interesting gaming experience in itself because yeah. I haven't picked up the Wii you in a while and I picked it up recently for Bayonetta yeah. I'm just enjoying the actual gamepad and getting right. to play with the, the Miiverse. Yeah, it's, it's different than the other things and, and I feel like Nintendo is on a tack where they're saying maybe we won't be one like we were with the Wii again but yeah. we're going to do as well as we can we're going to keep our fans happy and that's certainly true of Smash Brothers and Amiibo there's going to be 18 figures this is like the Skylander thing but really what it is it's like a physicalization of that collection that you have in Smash Brothers Mm -hmm. where you get all those trophies. Now you can actually go buy physical plastic trophies of characters that you've known forever. That you love yeah. so much. I think it's so crazy how Nintendo does this. They still have that special something yeah. that people are going for, especially during the holiday season, because they really are kid-friendly. They really are family-friendly, minus Bayonetta. Yeah, and they've got Super Smash Bros. Wii, which is obviously the juggernaut of the holiday season for Nintendo. <laughs> But they've also got the Captain Toad game, and Sonic Boom is coming out exclusively well, for the Wii U. He's I'm got a, excited about that. a Nathan Drake kerchief. That's what they need to do to sell Sonic games now. Well, no, what sold it for me is that it was actually made by a company run by the ex-art director on the Uncharted games. Okay. So you can see where the ascot scarf handkerchief sure. thing came from. If you're looking for games to buy for the Wii U, you don't need to put that one at the top of your list. No, you don't. It'll be somewhere in the middle. You to should the consider bottom. it, though, because it's exclusive for the platform. Somebody needs a hug. Other exclusives? Pikmin 3, a phenomenal, accessible, incredibly deep strategy game with a really cutesy overtone. And if you're playing as the Pikmin characters in Smash Brothers, you're going to be curious about yeah. where they're from and what kind of game experience you can have with it. Awesome game on the Wii U. I know, it really shows you their world. Honestly, Nintendo has given us a lot already, and I stopped appreciating them because yeah. we were playing all of our bigger consoles. I have to say they're bigger because they are. Well, yeah, um, PS4 and Xbox One really took a lot of the spotlight and love and attention in the last year, but that's it's shifted back a little bit to the Wii U, and I think Mario Kart was that Lynch, and we've got a nice run of pretty solid content. I'm not super psyched about Splatoon next year. I know a lot of people are. I am. I think it's going to be a good time. But Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze was fun this year. So much fun. They really cater to so many different kinds of gamers. That yeah. game is such a challenge, so hard. and it's so much fun to play. It really is for like the hardcore gamer in your life. They can yeah. still pick up a gamepad and still be a hardcore gamer totally. if you want to put a label on it. 
Other very cool Wii U experiences. Finally, Watch Dogs is going to be available on this platform. It will be interesting to compare it to the PS4 and Xbox One and PC versions. Okay. It underwhelmed a little bit, but it's hard to deny there's a ton of content and lots to do and some it, cool ideas. Yeah, I think it just underwhelmed with the story and the character. I wasn't too into Aiden Pierce at all, but they sold a lot. They did sell a lot. It's a huge IP. Yeah. It's interesting where they're going with it. There's lots of DLC available for it. I want to see what the gamepad interaction means for the Wii U version. One of my favorites of 2014 is a console exclusive on the Wii U. It's Shovel Knight. It's a fabulous, should have been made NES game that never got made. And it plays and handles perfectly. It's from a company called Yacht Club. It's also available for the 3DS. Beautiful and platforming, so much fun. So ridiculously yeah. good. They've got a lot of solid material, a lot of solid games, and good machines, and a unique kind of vantage point. So I think if you're a Nintendo fan, you got a lot to be grateful for, uh, and a lot to be excited about. Right, a lot to be thankful for this holiday season when yep. it comes to Nintendo. Honestly, and a lot of different titles to buy for the people that you love in your life, or just buy it for yourself, like I probably will, because yep. I'm a selfish person. <laughs> oh, you know what? I know another selfish person. Yeah, who? Uh, I think you're meeting him next. Oh, the Grumpy Elf. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Scott Jones, right after this. Thank <laughs> you.